Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Terrell, and I'm here again today to bring you your daily Tarot and Oracle reading for December the 5th, 2019. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to them. Please be sure when you do subscribe, especially if you're new, to click that bell button and make it ring and then you'll get notified immediately when these are out on YouTube for you to view. <clears throat> As you know, this is a collective general reading. Take what you can from it, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want a private reading with me, specifically designed to your needs and questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful signs and zodiac, signs and souls of the zodiac, is posted below this video. So our very first card we have here, which is the Two of Ariel, and this is your one and only tarot card. And the Two of Ariel refers to the Two of Pentacles or coins. And it's this is all about being balanced, knowing that it's important for you to be balanced. You may be juggling a lot of things uh, this week that you're going to be doing. And it's important that you set your priorities up. Don't overdo, don't overextend yourself, and don't wear yourself out. You're going to be doing perhaps multiple jobs or multiple projects all at once. But make your work fun. Don't get yourself all stressed out over this. In traditional tarot, it show, shows the, the jokester, uh, you know, or the jester juggling two coins. And you know what? Oh, hum, he could care less. <clears throat> it's important, though, to be balanced. Okay, you may be working multiple jobs or have several projects going on today at once. Reconsider your to-do list. Is it really necessary to accomplish every single one of these things and all of it at once? Think about that. The key to managing stress is to think of ways to make your situation more fun. Okay, what can you do? Think of it in a lighter way uh, to make it easier on you, stress-wise. You may be having challenges balancing your budget today, the finances. Uh, you know, be cautious of juggling your finances in a way that causes long-term difficulties. So be careful with your spending today, okay? I know it's December, I know it's Christmas, but don't overextend yourself. There may be some career, career changes that should be looked at carefully today and decisions made slowly and logically. This is you going with the flow, making it look easy when you do it and the ability to get by on little less money than you thought you could, stretching it out, spreading it out, but not getting stressed out about it. It's not lowering your standards. It's just realizing that, you know what, I don't need, uh, you know, something expensive when I can buy the same item that's just as good for less. Okay, so think about it that way. With the Lennerman, you're getting a gift. And this is a beautiful gift. It could be uh, the gift of love and affection, a secret admirer. Uh, it could be um, a gift from a friend. This could be almost anything. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bouquet of flowers. It could be the gift of attention. It could be the gift of understanding. Uh, someone sharing uh, a moment with you, someone taking you out for lunch, um, you know, getting a bonus, uh, getting a nice check in the mail, getting a beautiful card today that says, gee, I care about you, I miss you. Could be something like a text, someone sending you a beautiful message, a loving message in a text. Could be some exciting news coming in that makes you feel that that's a gift. Someone may be giving you tickets to go somewhere that you maybe could not have imagined you would have bought yourself. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful gift coming into some of you. Think of the gifts that can come in in December. What do they mean to you? What is important to you? What do you need to surrender to? <clears throat> well, apparently you need to surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So you may have to, you know, change things up a bit today. If you're working with something that's challenging or a person or a project or a situation today, you may have to rethink it. And that means when you do that, you have to be creative. You have to think creatively. You know, how can I make this work? What could I do to change it? Is it going to be just as good? Or is it going to be better? Okay. So someone may be coming in and giving you the gift of their attention and their ideas. Perhaps that's what's coming in here. 
you're juggling a lot of jobs. So perhaps you're going to need to ask for help today and say, hey, you know, I need help with this. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Do you think you can, you know, give me some input? Two brains are better than one. You can pick each other's brains, right? So I do see this maybe a collaborative effort with someone that's going to come in and say, yeah, sure, I, I'll do what I can do and I'll get what I can get done for you and I'll, or I'll show you how to do it so that you can do it quicker and, and, you know, you can be creative that way. Some of you may be tapping into your creativity when it comes to, uh, to your finances. It could be creativity when it comes to the arts. Perhaps you've decided this is the time of year that you're going to step up and sing in a choir. Uh, maybe you're joining a choir, maybe you're joining a group where people are going in and they're making ornaments and they're, they're doing things like that, craft ideas. Some of you may be doing that this year. Some of you may have already been doing this all year and you're going to sell them at bazaars or craft sales for Christmas. Um, I do see maybe some of you are going to be making Christmas gifts this year instead of buying them. I love handmade Christmas gifts, whether it's something they baked, they sewed, they 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 knit, they created, they painted, they drew, whatever. I think it's amazing. When you have that ability, that innate ability to be creative, be artistic, to enjoy what you do, it shows. It shows in, in your beautiful artwork. So some of you may be stepping up and doing that as well. Beautiful. And with our tea leaf card, it says older woman dealings or relationships with an older woman so this could be you know this let's face it this is the time of year isn't it for us to get together with our grandparents uh, i mean i'm too old for that mine have been long gone and my parents but some of you may be spending time with a grandparent or an older relative or perhaps there's a neighbor or a friend that you're close to in your neighborhood or you know that you or in your church who's going to be alone this year Maybe someone is in a nursing home. I have a friend and he spent Thanksgiving, took his, his, um, his beautiful service dog and went through nursing homes on Thanksgiving instead of having a dinner. He decided because he had been widowed, uh, he was a widower recently, and he decided, no, I'm not gonna spend it with family. I'm gonna go into the nursing homes and I'm gonna spend it with people who have no one. What a beautiful, kind, selfless thing to do. I love him. He's an amazing friend to do this. And maybe you're going to think of things like that too, where there's people that are alone and they have no family around or they never had children and they sit there and they're alone. And it's nice to tap into them, to go in and say, hi, how are you? Maybe take them a meal or a bag of candy. Uh, you know, I have a friend who also made gift items uh, and packaged them up and it was charitable people that donated things to go to nursing homes, little things like you know, make, uh, you know, a lipstick, a powder, a, a new soap, a deodorant, a lovely shower, uh, you know, face cloth, little simple things. These are just examples, okay, that people do for people that need it. And my friend of mine, she does this every year. She gets together one year. She went out to the homeless and made backpacks for people that had things that they could use, a woman shelter, uh, you know, a lots of things we can do this time of year. And this does speak of an older woman. Now, let's take it to this level. This older woman could be giving you guidance. This older woman could be sitting down and talking to you about things. You may respect her and you may look up to her for her wisdom from all the years of experience she's acquired and accrued. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we have here with our angel feather card. The angel feather card that you have today is Crimson Angel Feather. The innate creative talents. Here we go again. We talked about creativity here with the surrender to creativity. The angels are here to reinforce to you that you have natural creative talents. What would be the chances that these two cards would shuffle out of two different decks and they mean the same thing? You know, this is amazing how the universe and the divine spirit sends me what you need to hear. Which, you know, this tells me that your, your creative talents and skills need to be unleashed or further developed. So here we are, we have two of them here, right? We have two of them here uh, that say the same thing pretty much. You know, one is surrendering you to your creativity and allowing yourself and your creative side to come forward. Maybe you've been thinking about doing something artistic and creative, and it could be in the arts of theater, art, actual art, you know, painting, sketching, whatever, creating, ceramics, whatever it is. 
this is the universe and the divine saying, what better time than now for you to step forward and tap into your creativity? So this is about the crimson feather and it's presented to you as a symbol of creative gifts. The angels ask that you start to have faith in your personal abilities. Explore further possibilities of education and guidance to expand your skills. The angels will assist you with making the right choices. So trust that the teacher will appear when the student is ready. And I'll tell you something else. When one teaches, two learn. The world is ready for you to start showcasing your gift, your personal innate gift. Allow your essence to flow into your creation so that others may be empowered by them too. You're going to encourage others to do the same thing. Time to present your magic to the world, my friends. So, you know, this basically means, uh, this crimson feather means spiritual protection, feminine beauty and mystery, visual clarity. And your affirmation today should be, my creative energy flows freely, which allows my talents and gifts to shine through for the world to see. Beautiful, beautiful message. So the angel feather card, the angels are telling you to surrender to your creative side and they clarified it here with this feather card. Gifts coming in, enjoy this older woman and know that you need to ask for help and you'll get all of that work done. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week ahead to look forward to. And again, I leave you with this. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it, all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon.